Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to Kawaii Co Cosmetics. So today I know you can see that I'm a bit grunged up. I'm, I'm not in the mood to glam up or doll up today because I'm tired <laughs> and I've, this thing, I've had a stressful week and I just am not in the mood to well, glam up. But today we're actually going to be reviewing one another product from Beaufisial, the Beauty and Majesty Light On Toner Cream. I don't know if you can see it because on the monitor it's showing us very well. Mm, can you see it? A little bit now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're going to be reviewing that and checking it out. So even though I've just only had my toner, moisturizer, and a little bit of sunblock, but I'm just going to, well, wash up and put a new fresh one application. All right. We'll see you and now. Okay, so I had to obviously change my top because when I wash my face, my top gets wet. So, yeah. So now, normally when I give you products, I like to go to a website and actually give you a bit of info before I actually try it on. So, unfortunately, beauficial.com doesn't have a description up yet, but they do have that on their website. Um, also, I was saying, don't forget to check out the link below for their web new website. They have recently uh, restructured it and they've added on other different products, a little more extra makeup products, etc. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take the description from Amazon.com. So what it says here, Botsitum contains 70% of Provence Rose Water, Vitamin B12 Natural Pink Color, Carefree Brightening with Reliable Ingredients, Brightening Anti-Wrinkle Jewel Effect, approved by the KFDA. I think that's Korean Federal Drug Administration? I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, so going on to a little bit more uh, info. Is there anything in English here? Mm, anything here in English? English, there's ingredients list, directions to use it, but okay. Okay, so it's a skin tone improvement moisturizer. That's what they say here. Uh, naturally fixes skin tone, refreshes the finishing. It's a water based moisturizer. Um, and who's water from province? Peach extract contains a patented ingredient comprising seven plant extracts to soothe the skin. So, okay, let's try this out. There's actually two types of these ones here. You can use also the face for arms, armpits, and legs as well. Okay, all right. Okay, okay. All right, so it's supposed to even out your skin tone. So, let's try it out. Let's open this up. Oh. Most of your beauty products will have a little like tape on it as such to just ensure that it's not open. But uh, yeah. okay, this is quite pretty. I don't know if you can see it. The one is just not showing it as how it is, but okay, yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, okay, so it's a nice cute little pink container. Uh, B O M light on toner cream. <laughs> they actually have a part here. I don't know if you can see it. They actually have a part where it says open the date, where you can actually write down the date where you op when you opened it as such. That's actually very nifty because um, some products are, listen, when it comes to expire date, it's more like it expires like 6 months or 12 months from the date you've actually opened it rather than from the date manufacturer. Okay, so let's try this out. Let me actually just show it on my... Okay, so it's got a slight bit of pinkish color to it. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if you can see the pink amongst my dark skin tone, by the way. But, uh, okay, all right. Yeah, let's rub this in, see how it looks. Okay, it's definitely got a tone-up effect. Can you see? Um, okay, so... For me personally, I'm not so into this because I've had enough experience with, um, well, you know, lighter skin uh, color foundations, BB creams and stuff. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, can you see? It's a little bit lighter here compared to the left side here. No, my left side, actually. So, okay, it doesn't look so bad. Uh, okay, let's try it on the face. Righty, uh, why do I always keep forgetting to have a compact? Just for I'm just gonna get it. Okay, so I couldn't find a compact mirror, but so I'm gonna just use my Dr. Geo mirror and stuff instead. Okay, let's. Well, I'm, I'm so normally, I don't know whether you've seen, I'm sure you must have seen 
um, some of these um, beauty product beauty videos whereby like people just literally like drizzle it on their face I ain't doing that here thank you very much because you know, I'm scared of the consequences so let's try this. what I normally like to do is if something is claims to be brightening or anti-wrinkle or or whitening as such I prefer to put it under my eyes so that it targets it works on my eye under eye area rather so yeah okay and let's do the forehead Eek. the monitor makes it look very very white but um it's not as white as it looks but I think it's definitely it would be responsible for like you know that kind of flashback effect so yeah yeah a bit do work on this for under my eyes so yo yeah. I think there was a little bit of bubble. No. Okay. Let's put a little bit here. We also, when it comes to things that are a little bit lighter than my skin tone itself, I prefer to just put like just like a little bit at a time and not go full on. I don't know if you know, okay, I, I know it's still looking white here, but on my mirror, I can see it's like kind of absorbing slightly, so that's kind of like a good thing. Okay, let me put a little bit on, the, on my left side. But can you see it's very, um, it is very, very, uh, it is technically a tone-up cream. When it says tone-up, as in it's more of a, um, how do I say, it's making your tone, your skin tone more of a cooler skin tone. So if, for example, you have a foundation or a cushion that is a little too darker for your skin type, then you can maybe use this underneath it as such. So yeah, what I do, let me put some on my neck as well. Also, my neck also tends to be a little bit darker than the than my the skin on my face and on the rest of my body. So it's got a little bit of extra melanin there. So this is fine, I guess, with that part. But for me personally, I wouldn't use this personally, um, like on a regular basis for my face as such. Maybe on like maybe on the under eye area or around the eye area, and maybe on my neck as such. Just help kind of like you know, um, even out my skin tone and com skin complexion. So yeah, now let's actually try and actually, oh lord. So it's not looking actually bad in my mirror, but I think on the monitor, because of the light sunlight as such, that's why it's actually picking up that flash effect technically. So yeah, Ooh. yeah. Let me see here. I wonder. I'm trying to just compare <laughs> as such um, how this thing looks. But let me put on my glasses and. <sighs> Believe me, this is not as bad as some CC creams and BB creams and cushions I've tried. Is it just me or is it looking like it's coming right now? Okay, yeah. Seems to come right after a while. So, hmm. Maybe it's not as bad as I'm making it out to seem to be. It doesn't look too bad in my, my compact mirror. So maybe after a while, it seems to actually, let me see here. Well, it looks so bad. Uh, there's no stickiness, which is good. So kind of, it's good for giving like a matte finish, which is nice, especially if you have oily skin. And yeah, it's not bad. Um, 
It's all right. In terms of, I think you maybe might want to use maybe you have a darker skin, um, front, darker foundation or darker makeup powder, and you want to just help it to actually come to your correct skin complexion. Um, otherwise. Some of you, I know I'm not judging anyone. I'm just saying some of you might actually want to maybe um, make your skin tone look a cooler skin tone as such. That's up to you. If that's what you want, then this is for you. If you prefer um, your normal skin color complexion the way it is, um, then don't. Then I don't advise this. But this is quite nice. Um, maybe this would be actually nice more to go on under like a very darker uh, foundation. And I'm actually just thinking whether. To actually use one of my darker DG, Dr. Geo cushions on it. So just hold on. I want to just get that one minute. Okay. So what I've got is I've actually got DG05 and I've got DG06 here. So what I'm thinking is I'll maybe try to DG06 on this side and DG05 on the side here. So let's go in with it and see. I have, I, I originally bought all six shades just to actually kind of like try it out and see how it is as such. So yeah. I've got to actually move the uh, sticker from this one here. Jeez, now four times I need to actually move it. Come on. There you go. Right. Ooh. Okay, it's a little too much that I put. Eek. Uh huh. Now I look like uh, like I've got like somebody smeared <laughs> something on my face. Very. Okay, let's try and actually create this now. Please let this come out okay. So I'm using DGO, DGO5 on this side. And DGO5 is the second darker shade that Dr. Geo has. Now, my only problem is that I'm worried about if I put DGO6 on my right side here, how it's going to actually look. So, okay, let me just do the neck as well. So that we at least match up. I just have to, uh, all the times I put on a white top. Okay, so it's definitely giving a very tanned look here. I said just saying, but I don't know if you can actually see it because of the lighting. Okay. So let's let me put on my glasses first. Okay, actually it's not bad, looking that bad. But just said on my compact and at first glance it was like yo. But it is looking a bit tanned, especially for winter time. So now, time to go with DG06, which I'm a little bit, I think I went into, which I suggested a little too um, quickly as such. So, yeah, okay. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and actually um, put as little as I can, if I can. Let me just take out this mirror here. Come on now. Time to go in with very little. Please, 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 do not go in like you did last now. Okay. Okay. Also, remember, DTO6 is, it has more of a very um, warmer, when I say it has a warmer skin tone, it's, how do I say this? Um, can you see? Let me actually try to blend it out a bit. Okay, so because I didn't go in like a crazy woman with this, yeah, it's not looking so bad. But 
Prodigio 6 is more suited for a dark complexion. Um, this would actually suggest for, is more for like, if you have skin complexion that is like, um, if you see Nima Tang, yeah, it's it's for your it's for her complexion as such. DJ Six would actually suit her very nicely. I don't know if she did a video already on Dr. Geo cushions, but um, yeah. Okay, so I actually managed to pull this off a little better because I didn't go in like a crazy woman. <laughs> I didn't just go. <laughs> okay. Actually, also, I think, if, I'm, if I don't know if you can correct me or not, but it seems like DGO5 also has a little more of um, a reddish uh, undertone to it. I'm not, I'm not sure if that makes sense. But, yeah, that's what it looks like. Because, I look at it. Yeah, it seems to have, like, a very um, reddish undertone. So, yeah. So, it's okay. It's all right. I'm just trying to think now. As for this Video Majesty Light on Toner Cream, I think for me, this is my personal opinion. My personal opinion is that if you want to actually um, up your skin tone or make it a cooler or a skin tone as such, a little bit lighter, a little fairer, that's up. That's that's you. You that's fine with you. That's your thing. It's not. I'm, I won't judge you. And this would actually be very good for you. This would be very nice for you. Um, if you are not into that sort of stuff, then maybe this might not be for you. But also, but if you have um, like areas that maybe you have like maybe extra melanin in or extra pigmentation in, then maybe this might actually maybe be helpful. But otherwise, this is actually quite nice. So yeah, I'd give this personally for me, I'd give it three out of five, only because it's not for me. For someone who would want to actually um, you know make their skin tone a bit lighter. Or a little cooler, maybe they then if for them it'd be a, a four or five out of five. But for me personally, it's three out of five. But it's not a bad product. It's just it's not for me. But um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys like my little video. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to check out my our online store as well, where we have a whole range of makeup and skincare products from Korea. Right? Take care and have a good week. Bye.